We have one of those folks who was on a podcast talking about growing up in a racist household with racist parents and explains how it was spoon fed to him. Take a look. Like we would watch a movie and if it had like a, a black actor who was the lead, they would change it. And I'd be like, why? I was watching that. Well, we don't watch and they say a slur. We don't watch them on the TV. And I'm like, oh, OK. Any kind of positive outlook on anything besides white culture. It was frowned upon. I was made fun of for it. I was told I was a slur lover. I'm not even a teenager yet. Racism is spoon fed to you. It's not like what you see in movies. It's not really shoved in your, your, your down your throat. It's slowly fed to you. I was always half and half because I, you know, wanted to trust my parents. So I thought, oh, they know best. They're the ones raising me, you know, like that. I, I was a very logical child to a degree, but also very ignorant. But that was because I was being raised in ignorance. So as you can hear, he mentions that he wasn't even a teenager yet, uh, where just watching a program and as long as it had black people, his parents would say, we don't watch those people. And, you know, also being frowned upon for it sounds like he was conflicted because he was embracing the black culture and black people um, and was being come down upon for, for liking it and being called a N-word lover. And so imagine that confusion as a child. And this is why we see a lot of children today um, that are raised by them folks who will say to a black child, I can't play with you, or my, my mommy or my daddy said that I can't be your friend. And um, true to past as well, I've been down that road as well, growing up in the racist province of Quebec and being told by many of these young little children that they were not allowed to even talk to me. So this is a very common thing that happens. And um, when you are conflicted like that, you want to be loyal and obey your parents, but then you also want to embrace the culture. And this is kind of the conflict that happens. Uh, what happens as they age really is dependent on them. You know, whether they want to join the KKK or become a white supremacist or understand that we are all equal and we all bleed the same color, it's really incumbent upon them as they age. So at some point, it's no longer my mommy and daddy and it becomes, how are you going to navigate in the world and what kind of person are you going to be and what kind of representative are you going to be to break that chain in your family? And so it's good that he's, you know, out here talking and uh, being forthcoming about his experience, uh, but it doesn't change the facts that this needs to change and this needs to no longer be accepted. But alas, the fight continues for us. And um, hopefully at some point in life, uh, we will no longer be treated as other and we will be treated as equal, highly unlikely, but this is the life we live. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. And last but certainly not least, you want to download the African Diaspora News app. You can find it at the Apple Store or the Google Store, and you'll have access to content you won't see here on YouTube. Lots and lots of beautiful, exciting stuff. So you want to get that app. Go download it now. And until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.